Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this very summer appropriate, appropriate uh, makeup look. I did a nude lip, glowy skin, very bronze and like I kind of like did the whole like sun kiss look on the face as well. And it's a very like matte simple smoky eye guys, super easy to achieve. So if you guys aren't confident with like shimmer or anything like that then this is the look for you. But you guys if you're interested in seeing how I got this full face kind of summery glam kind of thing then please stay watching so getting straight into it i'm going to begin by priming the skin with a uh, kind of neutralizing primer this is the urban decay De complexion correcting primer Ugh, i can't speak today basically i'm applying that all over the skin to neutralize any redness hide any pores and any breakouts that i may have on the face next i'm going in with my foundation this is the milani two in one foundation in the shade medium i believe medium beige i'm applying that all over the face and make sure to bring it down your neck as well so that you are stopping like stopping getting that harsh line to prevent that kind of mask effect that you may get with your foundation if you stop at the jaw so blending it down i'm using a f80 kabuki brush from sigma to help blend it in and create a very even layer over the skin next i'm going in with my concealer this is the maybelline complexion oh, Maybelline complexion the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer in the shade medium moyant and basically placing that under my eyes priming my lids with that for the eyeshadow that we apply on later and also I'm um, contouring under my cheekbones as well this is a little trick I've enjoyed doing lately to kind of chisel out my cheekbones a bit more without having to apply any kind of like contour powder or anything it's just a subtle highlight under there then I'm going in and blending out the concealer and as you can see when I'm blending under my eyes I'm bringing that up the side of the eye towards the tail of my brow to highlight that area as well as conceal. It just gives a bit of lift to the eyes and yeah, it's just little subtle things like that that just kind of gives you a bit more lift and awakeness to your face. Next for bronzer I'm going in and applying my Quickie Contour Stick from um, Benefit. This is the best thing ever. I friggin' love this cream bronzer. I use it every day whenever I wear my makeup. It's just so natural and flawless. And it just creates such a great finish to the skin. And I'm blending it in with the same brush that I used for my foundation, the F80 Kabuki. Next to kind of set all the um, cream products in place, I'm going in with powders. The first one I'm going in with is my Eclipse Blur Powder um, in the shade 21. And I'm applying that all over the like the concealer areas. Baking that in place with a dry kind of um, beauty sponge. Then going in with a bronzing powder to set the cream bronzer in place. This is my Micellin um, Barbados Babe bronzer. I'm using a Chi Chi bronzer brush to lightly dust that over the bronzer area. I don't want to go too heavy handed and end up with a bronzing helmet, you know what I mean? <laughs> Next for brows, I'm going in with my Maybelline brow powders in the shades. Soft brown for the head of the brow and deep brown for the tail of the brow. I just find having two shades mimics a more natural brow and it stops you from getting that kind of sharpie looking effect. That's just my personal preference. You don't have to use two shades. And as you can see, I did go a little bit heavy handed here. So I'm just going in with a kind of clear brow gel to not only set the brow hairs in place, but also kind of feather that product through and make it look more natural in the brow. Once your brows are drawn on, <laughs> we're going in with the eyeshadow, which is always my favourite part of any look. And I begin off with the transition shade. So I'm using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and basically just applying a couple transitions, light, these are light browns, a couple shades darker than my skin tone, through the outer crease and under the eyes as well. Just to smoke it out, and as you can see, I'm going for that more cat eye effect, if that makes sense. Then I'm taking a deeper brown shade from my Caramel Melange palette and placing that on the outer portion of my eye and through the outer crease and also just dusting that under the outer portion of my lower lash line as well. Then I'm dipping into this more orangey shade from the Caramel Melange palette as well using a denser brush each time. I start off with a really fluffy brush, then I go in with the Soft Definer from Zueva and now I'm using the Petite Crease brush and packing on that orange shade on the very outer portion of my eye and also just softly blending that along the bottom lash line keeping closer to the lash line this time rather than smoking it down further as you can see each shade we apply it's getting um, more focused so I'm getting a bit more definition to the eye shape 
Then I go back in with those previous brown shades and just blend out any harsh lines or any any edges that may be, you know, present on the eyeshadow look. For the rest of the, of the lid, I'm taking Creamsicle from the Jaclyn Hill palette and packing that on the basically the first two thirds of my eye with a Morphe chisel shader brush. Um, and then I go back in and just kind of help those two shades blend together, the orange shade and the Creamsicle shade. Next, I'm taking Hunts from the Camel, not Camel, from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and with a pencil brush, I'm kind of creating a smoky liner effect. So I'm keeping it quite tight against my lash line and going up in a V shape on the outer um, edge of my eye and just smoking it out a little bit using a light hand and just packing on the shade a little bit darker at a time. And as you can see, I'm also bringing it on the outer third of my bottom lash line and just smoking whatever is out with my, you know, any harsh lines with my finger because I was lazy and didn't want to grab a brush. Then I go back in with those, soft, um, those transition shades that we used at the very beginning and just kind of like blend out any harsh lines or edges that might be present around the eyeshadow to kind of finish it up. Then lastly, placing on your favourite mascara on your top and bottom lashes. Do a nice thick coat because we aren't going with any falsies today. It's a more natural summery look. I'm loving the natural lashes lately. For the face, I'm going to go in with blush first and placing that on the contours of my cheeks just because I find it is more flattering on me. This is the Infatuation shade from Makeup Geek. I also place it along kind of the ridge of my nose. For highlight, I'm going in with my Violet Voss palette and taking those two kind of medium and lighter highlight shades and placing the medium shade on the high points of my cheeks and also above my brow, but the very light highlight shade on the tip of my nose and Cupid's bow. Then I'm going in with my inner corner and brow bone highlight. This is going to be the Maybelline um, highlight highlighter. It's in the shade Molten Gold. It's a nice goldy shade and I felt it really tied in well with the eye look. For lips, I'm lining my lips firstly with my 049 Natural Shade from Rimmel. Then over top, I'm going to go in with the Nile Nude shade from Burt's Bees. It's a cute kind of nudie pink shade. And lastly, to finish off the lips, I'm going in with a gloss. Just because I feel glossy lips really are very fitting for summer. So this is the Undressed shade from Dose of Colours. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in seeing some Halloween tutorial, I do have some from last year. I'm still contemplating what I want to do this year. Of course, let me know down below if you have any ideas. But I do hope you enjoyed today's, like, summary. This can totally be a full makeup look, though. If you change up the lip from a nude to, like, a ready, like, deep vampy one. Mm. Honey, this would be so nice as a full look. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.